Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the middle of July. This is for the 16th through the 22nd, but whenever it resonates because timing is fluid and we're all at different pat, all at different levels, okay? Now, keep in mind that if this reading, reading feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong, okay? Typically, my readings are love readings. We'll just see whatever comes up. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it flips out while I am shuffling, you get to see it now. Otherwise, it will be revealed at the end. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You want to see it? From Archangel Michael, go forward fearlessly, my prayer. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. Go forward fearlessly. Oh my gosh, another flipper. Listen, listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, to be, to but, to but, to what lies beneath the words. Now, I have to point out every single time I get this card, I see the word lies. Okay, I, oh, that, that word just, just like jumps right at me. Not to just what's being said, to but what lies beneath the words. You could be being lied to, you know, so look beyond the words. That's what that says. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, middle of July. Mm. Judgment card, karma. This is uh, truth being revealed. Some truth being revealed. And that makes sense with the lies I was just talking about. Okay. Oh. It feels as, or it looks as though you guys are starting to heal. You're coming out of some sort of difficult period, releasing something that you have held on to for quite some time. There could have been a one-sided situation where there wasn't equal give and take in a situation. And you're accepting the truth of this, whatever it is. You've received some sort of epiphany that says, you know what, i got to release this shit. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could be a Leo. Could be another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be a Leo. All right, I'm just going to get this zoomed in before we go any further. Something has made you really unhappy, put it that way. There's been some negativity in your life. There's been a lot of conflict, arguments with another person, disagreements. Um, now this contract is probably over. I think you're letting it go. I'm letting it as go. So, your challenge, your challenge is not getting angry. This is your challenge position, the king of swords reversed. This is you probably taking on this energy. Don't get upset. Do not act out, okay? It's a challenge to not be resentful. Your challenge is not to spout off at the mouth, not to freak out over this situation and go hurt somebody. Okay, I understand that somebody has probably hurt you. 
they didn't give what you thought they were going to give. They probably broke your heart, you know. And even though you're you're letting it go, you may be resentful. So your challenge is to keep things under control and not get yourself into trouble. Your how other people see that people see that you may be a little unstable. Okay, Pe oh, this is how other people see you in this position. This could be a person you're dealing with, but this can also be you taking on this energy. This is you being stubborn, being jealous, being hot-headed, uh, saying things you probably shouldn't say. So people probably see that you are upset and that you are ungrounded at this time and that you could lose your temper at any moment. So keep in mind that people can see that you are on edge. There is no doubt about it. So keep that in mind that people, if they see you're on edge, they may poke you. They may be like, oh, let's go poke the ball. Even though you're a Gemini, you're taking on this energy. You know, so I feel like you're on the edge of hurting somebody. And, you know, just be careful, okay? Because you could get yourself into trouble like that. I feel like there's an end of a contract here. You know that it's over, but you may not be happy with it. Um, you know, there's consequences for actions. I'm not saying that you guys did anything wrong. Could have been this other person that did. Whatever is happening, some kind of truth is being revealed that is is going to make you happy in the end but in the meantime it may make you feel a little you know rejection sucks Re if you were rejected or if you were hurt or you know you may feel a little bit a lack of self-confidence or self-worth that's what rejection does to people okay so i feel as though right now you're this is a week of feeling you know what this is ridiculous and i'm pissed so you may be a little pissed off this week for some reason. Just saying. Just saying. Um, all right. So let's get some advice cards. Let's get some clarifiers. You guys were involved in a one-sided situation. You didn't get what you deserved. And that could have been from an earth sign, a Leo. Could have been anybody. Could have been from anybody. You didn't get what you, you're, you know, you were putting in all the at work. The other person was not. And it feels that now you, you probably cut it off. You probably cut it off, but you're still probably resentful that you had to cut it off. It's like, damn. You know, but there's no forward movement there. You know, there's no there was no forward movement. And now you're ma not mastering your emotions very well. Because, you know, it caused an upset. You know, and now it's it, this idea has died. It's over. You know it's done. And now it's time to step out of this. Just step away. Step away. You know, you have to be patient with yourself. Allow yourself to feel peace. You know, when something doesn't work out, it, it, there's a reason, there's a purpose for it. Some things don't work out because there's a purpose. You know, you still have a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but you have to, you have to let go of things that don't serve you. You have to, you there's a there's a journey to get to that pot of gold. You know what I mean? There's a path to get there, and there's going to be roadblocks along the way. So I feel like you guys have roadblocks, something that has probably stung, you know, something hurt, and now you're a little bitter because of it, but you need to keep going, okay? Be patient, be patient. I feel as though you may be a little out of sorts. You are out of sorts. I can see that you are, but realize that you still have to finish the journey okay there's a reason why things happen keep moving allow yourself to be happy maybe you need to let your friends help you maybe it's a time to get out there and have some fun maybe you need to be more playful maybe you need to go out with the girls or the guys or whatever but this is like you know what allow yourself to relax allow yourself to feel peaceful Maybe you need to have a couple drinks. And I know that some people, somebody is going to say, oh, no, that's not going to help. Well, then this reading isn't for you. But I'm just saying that, you know, you need to lighten up. Lighten up there, Gemini. Keep hope. Keep hope in the future. Um, this is a, really a time of wish fulfillment, whether you know it or not. When God, or what is it? I don't know what the first words are, but rejection is God's protection, and that is the truth. God has, or the, your higher power has protected you from probably some sort of narcissistic situation. Okay, I see negativity here. They protect. They have project, <coughs> protected you from something that could have ended much worse. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, now it's just time to be happy. You don't even need to prove yourself to this person. So I understand that you're upset. You may be pissed off, but just let it go because you don't need to. You don't. You're too good to even waste another breath on this situation. Okay. You know, and I feel like somebody has a really. Whoever you were dealing with, it doesn't matter what their sign was. They were very conceited, they were very self-centered, and they needed a lot of attention. And probably because you didn't give them what they wanted, they probably sought, sought it out any way they could get it. Whether they poked you or they looked outside the relationship or whatever they did. You were dealing with somebody who was narcissistic, who needed lots of attention, and you couldn't get through to them no matter what you did. So, why? Why even bother? I feel like right now you, you need to walk away, let this egotistical son of a you-know-what go. Let it go. It's over. It's done. This cycle of your life has completed. It is over. Now, you could have been dealing with any sign whatsoever, but it is over, and it's really a time to rejoice, whether you see it that way or not. Allow yourself to smile. You are the victor here. Don't don't let your, your emotional disappointment get the best of you because you have many other opportunities. Trust that you have other opportunities. Something that is going to make you happy. Even though this period of time is difficult, it will pass. There's a new opportunity waiting for you. Something that promises growth. It's something that you really want. You know, when the Knight of Cups comes up, you know, it can be intense. But it can also be false offers so I feel like you may have received a false offer you accepted it it didn't turn out the way you want now you're upset you're afraid to accept any new offers you're pissed off you're being called to let it go go out there have fun and allow newness to come into your life you know but the thing is I think you're up you got your guard is up and you're ready to attack I think you are ready to attack but the thing is is that you can't change what has happened you can't change it. Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. And I feel as though right now there's a period of loss of self because of some sort of rejection or loss. Okay, there's a loss. There's been a loss here that you are resentful over and you need to let that go. Do not let it hold you back. And don't try to keep it in because if you keep it in, and I see that's what you're probably doing. You're probably keeping it in until it boils over. It's going to boil over and somebody could get hurt. So I feel like you need to let your friends help you during this time. You know, you need to release. You need to close that chapter. You need to let go of the worry. Let go of the, the guilt. Let go of the regrets. Let go of the depression. Let go of holding on to whatever this is that didn't work out. It didn't work out for a reason because you have a pot of gold waiting for you to finish the journey. To get ready. You have to be ready to receive that pot of gold. This is just a stepping stone, whatever it was. Don't let this situation cause you to lose yourself. You know, it's brought your self-esteem down. It's brought your self-confidence and your self-worth down. It's like it's, it's stolen your positive energy to stop. Do, do not let it steal your positivity. If you do, they've won. You're only cheating yourself by letting yourself be the victim. If you allow yourself to be the victim, then, well, you're the victim. This is victim mentality. This one is, too. If you play that card, then, hey, you're cheating yourself. Look at it as, you know what? I am the victor here. I am not the victim. It's their loss. You have something better. That would have turned out to be a disaster anyway. It was a false connect, not a false connection, because it was a connection. It was a false foundation. It wasn't stable. It wasn't strong. It wasn't concrete. It wasn't meant to last. But you're hanging on to it anyway, right? You're hanging on to something that was not meant to be. And it's time for you to free yourself. Stop hanging around or hanging on to a situation that didn't work out for a reason and it's because of rejection it's because of rejection it hurts it hurts when you're rejected it's hard to let go of rejection you like I said 
You need to look at this from a new perspective. It's their loss, not yours. Justice will be served in your favor, Gemini, in your favor. Victory is right around the corner. Have confidence. Hold your head up high and move on. So I feel as though we're done. Go, fear, go forward fearlessly. Move forward. Move on. Let this person go. You have another situation, another person, and whatever this situation, person, whatever it is, let it go. Don't hold in, on to animosity. Don't hold on to resent and anger because it could get you in trouble. It could get you cause legal issues for you. You don't have to prove yourself. You were dealing with somebody or a situation that was out of your control. It's just a it's just a stepping stone on the yellow brick road towards your pot of gold. Listen. Listen. Did you hear any of the words that I said? You have to be willing to listen if you really want to understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, and it's definitely not because you're not in a good place. It, I'm sorry. You're upset. Now is not the time to be offered advice, but to be a compassionate listener. listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. You were being lied to by another person. You missed it. Next time, you'll be that much wiser. Look at it like that. That's the new perspective I was telling you about. You learned something from this. It brought, it's bringing you that much closer to your pot of gold. And that's the way it is. So is new love coming in? I don't see new love coming in. I feel like you guys are probably releasing something that was really hurtful, that didn't serve you. And you're being called to go forward fearlessly towards that pot of gold. Talk to you later.